Good morning, welcome back folks. Thank you again for clicking on the video. Episode 9 of Week to Week. Thank you again for clicking on. It is much appreciated. What's on this morning? Just heading up to the warehouse. Got an order to pack, quick order to pack, just for a single 300ml tungsten auger. We'll go up, we'll quickly pack it, and then... I need to go run to the vet with Woody the dog, get him checked out, he's got something bothering his front leg. So we'll go do that, um, and then we'll come back, maybe get in the office for a bit, see where we go from there. One of the benefits of running your own business, when you need to quickly go do something like take your dog to the vet, it's a bit less hassle than it would be if you worked a job. On the flip side, it does mean you have to answer the phone when you're out doing things like that but that's what it is it's all part of it you've seen these dozens of times let me show you what we're packing up standard run-of-the-mill s4 auger torque tungsten auger that's a, the flat shock lock tungsten carbide teeth and the pilot's up there somewhere nothing too exciting you've seen a bunch of them before i'm going to finish packing this up i just need to strap it to the pallet wrap it, tape it and stick a label on, pallet ways will pick that up today. Some point today or tomorrow I need to get some more pallets for somewhere because we're nearly out and well as you see on a daily basis we use pallets in here so I'll have to go try and source some of them, see if pallet ways maybe has some that we can get. Um, anyway I'll finish packing that, take the wee man to the vet but then it'll probably be lunch time and we'll see what the afternoon has in store. Let me turn this off. Right, Monday afternoon. First of all, dog update. Absolutely fine. Don't know what he's done to his leg, but he keeps licking it. So he's got some medication and he's got some scrub to fix the infection or clean his leg, I guess. So that's the main thing. Second up, what else has been happening this afternoon? Another one of these arrived. Cymex VSE 10 screening bucket. You have seen one of these before. This is the exact same bucket that we were out on site in Yorkshire demoing a few weeks ago. Don't ask me what episode that was in. Five, maybe? Four? I'll link it up here. Click there. Go back and watch that weekly episode um, where we took one of those buckets out to site for a demo. So that's turned up. That is for that customer. There is, on the forklift there, a little pallet that came with it. That is a bolt-on cutting edge. It's an optional upgrade, but I think something that's well worth it. I'll show you tomorrow getting that fitted, because it's the back of four already today. And have a couple other things to do. So bring them both inside. We need... A th where are the 300mm augers? Ah, there. We need 300mm auger for another auger package. That needs to actually get cut down. It's going on an X1500. You've seen me do plenty of those, but it's going on a micro digger. And the customer's worried the setup will be too tall, given that he's on a micro digger. So we're going to cut about 300 mil, ironically, off of the 300 diameter auger, just to make it a little nicer to work with and a little easier to use. Cut the hub off, cut about 300 mil off, weld a new hub on, that's easy done. That'll be out tomorrow. I'm not going to do that, Rab's going to do that, then I need to shoot this evening, so we probably won't get any footage of that. And the reason I'm laughing, here's the link to the TikTok video that shows you a little bit more. Or not the link, here's the TikTok video that shows you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. What would you do if you found a competitor selling the same attachments, had used all of your content off your website? Images, copy, offers, etc. and passed it off as their own. Let me try and explain this. A, not even a customer of ours have never actually bought anything. They did inquire about a year ago about some auger torque product. Never actually ordered anything as far as I can remember. But they also now they also now advertise auger torque attachments. Totally fine. That's their doing. They can go to the manufacturer and get whatever they like that's well within their means I can't. 
I'm not here to tell them otherwise. But just don't, don't, don't steal our images and our text. Because look, here's our webpage with one of our package deals. And here's their webpage with the same package deal and advertising our log splitting cone. Don't, don't, don't do that. Or just ask at least, but don't just do it off your own back. It did get me a little annoyed for an hour or so. It's got Laura really annoyed. She's fuming. But it's, it's what it is. People want to copy us. We're obviously doing something right. So that's up to them. Uh, hey. But that being said, we'll have a little bit of fun with it, right? So most of them has just been images that they've saved and then re-uploaded to their website. Which there's not a lot I can do about that. Other than watermark them for here on out. But at the moment there's not a lot I can do. There were some images that were linked directly to our website. So it was just pulling the image from our hosting and displaying it as theirs. I mean, we can have a bit of fun with them, right? Surely that's fair. Um, so I, we changed a couple. Nothing bad. I mean, if um, it's nothing, I wouldn't say to, say to somebody that asked me, so... Yeah, that's been this afternoon's update. I keep laughing about how annoyed Laura is about this. And it's actually... It's a really good thing she's annoyed. I like that she's taking ownership over it. It's her it's her deal, the marketing. So I do like that. I don't like that she's getting annoyed, but I do like how passionate she is about it. But other than that, that's it for Monday afternoon. That's cheered me up on a Monday afternoon. It really has. I'm going to bring these buckets... Well, that's a big bucket. I'm going to bring the, the new bucket in. We'll get that measured up for hoses in the morning. We'll take the 300 dogger up to the workshop to get cut down. And then that will probably do us for Monday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tuesday, we're back in the warehouse. Monday done. Week off to a good start. Let me quickly run through what we've got on today. You seen this bucket arriving yesterday. We need to get the cutting edge bolted on that. We need to work out a plan for hoses. Get them ordered. Probably go and try and pick them up. So we can maybe get that out tomorrow, maybe Thursday. The... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. With an X1500, where are they? They're here. Auger package to go out. Well, we're cutting the auger down from 1200 long to 900 long. I, did, I think I did speak about it for the customer's micro digger. That's finished, we just need to, I need to go and put some paint on that, so we can get that out this morning. Got an S5 rock auger going out, I'll show you that um, shortly here when I'm packing it. That's it for orders going out. Took, a, took an order yesterday, first one we've ever done, for a block grab, Kinshofer block grab. Can't show you it unfortunately, because it's going direct from Kinshofer, but that was a nice order. Nice to do something a bit different. And maybe gives us something to look at for the future. Don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's it for orders going out. I mentioned... Oh, not last week. A few weeks ago about... My podcast, I think... I think the plan is to try and record the first episode this afternoon. So we'll maybe try and get to that. And then we'll see what's left in the day for there. That's probably actually going to take a wee while. By the time we get the couple of orders out, the time we get this bucket done, that's that's going to be well into the afternoon. So I'll go and get paint in this auger. I'll catch up with you again when we're packing it. And we'll go for there. Auger package, pretty much done. Let me show you around that quickly first. It's an Auger Torque X1500 drive unit. Single pin hitch and a 300ml tungsten auger. You can see there, normally you've seen me packing these before, normally they're the full length of the box. We have shortened this one down though, to use on a micro digger with the X1500. That's going on a customer's JCB8008. It's a little bit short on reach height, so that's why we've shortened the auger down, just to make it a whole lot nicer to use, to be honest with you. So, I'll finish packing that up, that'll be ready to go today. 
And also, if you've watched any of my content, you'll know I'm constantly complaining about not having enough space in here. And this is one of these times I'm about to show you why. Because, let me spin round. With two of these Cymex screen buckets taking up some of the floor space in here, we have, well, that's an empty crate, to be honest. That could probably go outside. But what we need now is a 250 S5 rock auger that is up there. So you put to see the sort of disorganisation, I guess, that it takes to get that down off the shelf. So it'll actually be, let me check the time, 9.37. Let's see how long it takes to get that pallet down and the auger off that we need. <laughs> Nine fifty seven. Twenty minutes to get the, that two fifty auger off of that shelf and then put everything back. That's not sustainable. Um, what we do here is stock as much as possible, turn it around as quick as possible, and try and be the most efficient at doing that in twenty minutes for. I can't remember what that is, six, seven hundred pound order to get it down off the shelf. That's not time to pack it, it's still sitting on the floor. Um, that should have been packed and out by now, so. I know I keep complaining about it, and I promise we are doing something. We are trying, at least, to do something about it, so. If that ever illustrates how tight we are for space in here, that would be it. Right, nearly done with this morning's orders. Got the 250ml S5 rock auger looked out. Got the X1500 package pretty much ready to go. Just need to band that and wrap it. Same with the big auger. I won't bother showing you that. You've seen it a bunch of times before. Get that done. Then I think we'll unwrap this screen bucket and work out a plan for that. Quick Tuesday afternoon update, Laura's here. We posted a video on TikTok a few weeks ago. We get sent some merch by Kinshofer Group. So we just posted a video there picking some names out for some winners. We're going to send them some bits and pieces out. I won't bother putting it here, but if you want to potentially win some more stuff in the future, go find us on TikTok, follow us, and keep up to date with what's going on over there. What's the plan now? Open up the screen bucket, see, make a plan for hoses and hitch bracket and bits and pieces. So we try and get this out this week and then we'll see where we are. Oh, I need to go to the post office with a small order and then we'll see where we are for there. You've seen this before. Um, as I said, it's the same bucket that we were out on a demo with a few weeks ago. I think that was episode 5, if you want to check that out, I'll link it up here. The only difference being, this is the fully hydraulic version, so you'll notice there's no electrical, electrical connectors. It is your hydraulic circuit here and here to spin the rotors. A case drain for the hydraulic motor and then a hydraulic port here and here to change the output size. And I've just noticed that this is broken. So that'll need fixed. That'll need fixed a little holder for the user manual. We'll maybe see if we can take the one off of the demo bucket. We'll put it on this one. What's the plan now? We need to get the hoses made for this, work out what length is going to be the best for that. There's a bolt on cutting edge for this as well, which is there, there. Bolt that onto here, and then that'll be pretty much ready to go out, but 
I'll show you through the process as we go and hopefully we can get it out to the customer this week. So for the purposes of the weekly videos, if you want to go see the whole chat, I guess I'll post it huge. I don't know when the editing of this will happen, but I'll attempt to link it. Uh, what side does it appear on this side? I think the the whole episode. Hopefully by the time this comes out, we're on episode three or four by the timings of the weekly. But um, you're going to need to get a calendar. Yeah, hopefully we are way past episode one. And if you want to go back and check it out, I'll attempt to link it here somewhere. That, that probably does us for Tuesday. But so tomorrow, I've got this bucket to finish, as you see me starting earlier. I've got this stuff to take down first and turn this back into it. Back into a warehouse. i get that bucket to finish. And then we'll see where Tuesday takes us for there. Cheers. Wednesday, we're in the warehouse again. I'm just starting off where you seen me finish last night. Um, recording the podcast was really good, actually. It felt a whole lot more natural than I thought it would, so that was good. Spent a bit of time just starting to try and edit it in bits and pieces last night, so hopefully within the next day or two we can get that up. It should, it should be out by the time we by the time I edit and release this weekly video, so click up there, I'll try and put a link to it, go and take a watch or a listen if you have nothing better to be doing. What's on today, this screening bucket that I'm standing in front, um, I've gave the hitch bracket a paint up, I'll bolt that up to this. Today I took it off the other one, we'll bolt it up to this one, I've ordered the hoses, we need to go pick them up, cutting edges on, you can see once you pick up the hoses, that'll be this pretty much ready to go. Nothing else going out today. What else is on? I'll probably, I've been up here for a couple of hours this morning. I'm going to reply to a couple of more TikTok questions. Then I'll get in the office, finish editing last week's weekly video. And that will get us up to probably sometime mid-afternoon. I'll go pick the hoses up for that bucket. And that will get a bunch of the day done, really. Um, if anything else comes up, I'll fill you in, of course. Hello. Hello. Boris here with the hose order. <laughs> Come in. What did we get? I don't know. Good. I need to check the line. <laughs> Alright, Wednesday evening. 8 o'clock, 10 past 8. Took a break there, hour and a half, couple of hours or so. Went and played some five sides just to get a run out, get some exercise in. Um, I get bothered with really bad headaches and migraines. I was feeling one earlier this afternoon, so took some painkiller, took a can of a can of coke, half can of cola, came out and done some exercise, and it seems to have have made a difference. So I get back. Get something to eat, get out to the office for an hour or so, um, upload episode 6 of week to week, and then that'll do us for Wednesday, I think. Friday again, we're here, we've made it to the end of the week. Uh, I've just noticed, probably can't see behind me, that UPS never turned up yesterday. That's annoying. 
apologies first up for the lack of for the lack of content from yesterday. I have family here at the moment. I have family here at the moment from the US. So we're just doing stuff with them yesterday. Got a couple of small orders sorted yesterday morning. Got the hoses for the screen bucket plumbed up. Seen that we were missing an adapter, so we're waiting on that coming this morning. That can get done. Got an 8,000 max package to pack this morning. Welded up the hitch bracket last night. They go and put some paint on that, and then we'll get that package out today. Hopefully, UPS turn up and pick these up. Because they were meant to go yesterday. Uh, what else is on today? Nothing else going out. Um, unless the adapters turn up for this quick enough, then it can go. If not, it'll need to go Monday. You can see we've got the hoses. Started getting the hoses on that Laura picked up the other day. That'll probably go Monday. We'll finish bolting down the hitch bracket. And that'll be ready to go. Uh, what else is on? It's probably us for stuff to go out today. Not here tomorrow for the same reason we weren't here much yesterday. So we need to get kind of tidied up today. Do a bit of tidying up in here. Get out what we can get out. And then we'll see if anything else comes up this afternoon. But first, let's go paint, tidy up this bracket, get it painted, and then get this order out. Quick update, got this morning's order packed. Sorry I never showed you it. I was giving my relative a quick tour in here while I was packing it up. I will put a picture here. It is an 8000 Max, 250mm S5 rock auger, double pin cradle hitch for a Kubota U45, and two weld on hubs because the customer is looking to drive screw piles with this auger drive. I'll put a picture here, that's a screw pile, the radix screw pile, and you'll see the flat metal plate on the top. What they're going to do is weld on one of our hubs to that plate and then use that to drive the screw pile. So that's a quick rundown of this morning. It's labelled up. Palletways will pick that up sort of lunchtime. That'll be with the customer Monday. That pretty much does us for orders to go out this morning. We're waiting on the adapters, as I said, for the screen bucket. And then a couple of bits and pieces that I went to the welders for yesterday. Other than that, I'm going to get in the office, going to reply to some customer queries, and we'll see where the afternoon takes us for there. the other day that we had family over so an unproductive Saturday with regards to work but family day out so it's been lovely we've been here at Glam's Castle in Perth and then we're going out for dinner so not a whole lot of work done today I'll get back in the office and get editing some videos tomorrow as usual kind of for a Sunday morning and that'll probably be us for the week to be honest again folks if you have made it all the way to the end of this video thank you very much for watching it is much appreciated and as usual if you have any questions for me or Laura anything to do with the business anything to do with what we sell how we operate whatever get in the comments ask away and I'll address it in an upcoming video and you'd be doing us a massive favor if you could hit subscribe below turn on the notifications for when we post we try and do these weekly videos every week um, so it helps a lot if you one if you watch two if you make it all the way to the end and three if you subscribe so thanks again that's it for another week see you on monday cheers <laughs>